All right, back at the honey hole today. Where I got a woodpecker disturbing us, making a lot of noise. So if you hear a knock, 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 it's just woody up in the tree. Uh, first find is this uh, nice little small crown jar. Nice blue color to it. But I got two in the hole here. One of them's a blue color. It could be a sauce or something. The other one, I don't know. It's right there. Not sure. Is that a new jaw? I don't know what that is. It's a cork top. It's a machine made. No, it's not a cork top. It's one of the early uh, lug style screw tops. So yeah, don't know what that is. Owen's glass. Yeah. Alright, and then we got this one hiding under this root here. We'll pull this one out together. Got a chipped lip on it. It almost looks like a straight side coke, but I don't think it is. Gary's got what we think is a big embossed whiskey bottle here. He's gonna slowly work it out. It's in there pretty tight. That's in there, right? Yes, it is. That's a large size bottle, that's for sure. Hopefully it's whole, because if it's facing up, hopefully it's not full of water. It probably would have been frozen down to that layer, I'm sure. Wow! Oh, there's, oh, 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 there's a neck right there! Yeah, there's a lid there. No, do you see the neck that, sticking out? Right there. Yeah, be careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, honey hole here, I guess. I'll get back to you when we uh, get close to getting this. All right, got her out. Oh, yeah, look at that. What's it say? It says Old Irish whiskey. Old Irish whiskey. On the bottom, it says Mitchell of Mitchell and Company of Belfast Limited. And it says something on the opposite side too, on the top. Embossed on the shoulder there, like crazy. Imperial Court. Imperial Court. Look at that. Look at that top on that. Nice applied top. Look at that. Beautiful bottle, man. Yeah. Yeah. No cracks. Looks good, eh? Looks good. A solid bottle. Put it up to the sun. It's a nice green color too. Hopefully, I got it in frame because I can't see because of the sun. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, it is. Yeah, he's pulling that one on top. Listerine, I bet. Or slick. It's a slick. It's a slick. Slick mat or something. Chemical. Well, it looks like Gary's stealing the show today. I've got a couple, but he's finding... It looks like a pickle jar or something, maybe. Hopefully it's a milk. He's got one there. It's in that. That's probably some kind of, that's cracked. Yeah. Hey, he's got a little cache of bots. That looks like an ink well. Ink bottle? 
That's a big one. You can see on it. Kind of embossing on that one side, didn't it? Yeah, it says uh, two for three fluid ounces. Yeah, that's definitely an inkwell. Yeah, yeah. that one quit like that. It's a big one. Nice. What else you got in there? It's a blue pickle jar, olive jar, whatever you want to call them. Food jar. Oh, geez, man, how many you got in there? <laughs> that remains to be seen, eh? Wow, that's broken. That's busted? Yeah, heads off. What about that one right in front of you? That one? That, is that broken? broken. Alright. Oh, got an inkwell. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen one that size. It's pretty big. Alright, Gary's got a big square bottle here. Looks like it could be a... <clears throat> I'm guessing a Gordon's dry gin or something. Is that what it is? London. London. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is too. Beauty. Wow. Nice blue. Oh yeah. What's the top look like on that? Wide top. Nice, eh? You sure? Uh, no, it's tool tip. No, it's tool. Tool. Sweet. Wow. That's two nice liquor bottles today, man. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Nice blue. Great. Well, whoever dumped here was uh, like their booze. Yeah, it is a nice blue. There's a bubble in there. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Well, like I said, it's Gary's show today, so. Oh, hey. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Gary thinks well, he got, just got the diamond with the D. It's got the Dominion glass mark. Yeah. Gary just pulled out an early Coke, nice blue one, probably from the 20s. It's got the diamond uh, mark on the heel there. Dominion glass. So yeah, it's a nice one. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, we found lots of broken ones of those, but never a full one. Happy, happy. Great stuff. I told you. The Gary show today. The Gary thinks he's got a cobalt blue bottle in here. It looks like maybe a milk of magnesia. Come on, behold. Here it comes. Or not. Jeez, eh? Is that a bottle below it too? Yep. A couple. <laughs> oh jeez man. Is it a corker? That's still a nice bottle though. Yeah buddy. Nice. Got the lug top on it. Late 20s, early 30s. Beautiful. Nice. Yep, can't beat those. I love cobalt. Can you pull that one out or what? Yeah, I think I can grab that one. <clears throat> or is it in there? That's a wiggle room. Pretty in there, eh? Oh, there it comes. What do we got? Yeah, no, there's no embossing on that one. One more. Holy jeez, man, you're in a good pocket. That one's broke. That one's broken? Yeah. All right. Well, that milk and magnesia was worth it. Same with that Coke. It's got quite the little stash of bottles here. I'll give you a little tour. It's got a brown, probably welcome chemical company. A couple three-in-one oils, I think. That one's got a crack in it. That's not Castoria. Sorry. Um, Gordon's Dry Gin, the Big Irish Whiskey, Coke he just pulled out, Milk Magnesia pulled out, that Big Inkwell, Listerine, yeah. and then uh, I don't know what that little, oh this is cool, 
this little flask that he pulled out. Look at that. Just fits in your hand. It's like a little Mickey. He just pulled another one out. No embossing on that one. Slick. All right, yeah, so he's doing good. Me? Mm, not so much. Talk to you later. Well, I'm back. I got something this time. I was, this big root here, I was getting all the dirt off. Two bottles just fell out. One of them's a, uh, pretty sure 100% it's a little bob rail yet. So that's a keeper. And then they got this one. Uh, Hires extract. Nice one. Nice aqua colored one. Yep. For home use. Hires? Yeah, hires. Philadelphia. There we go. Awesome. Well, that was easy. Probably gonna have to work for the rest, though. Hey, Gary, he's got thinks he's got a milk bottle ready to come out here. Is that embossed? It's ready. Come on, be embossed. Oh, oh yes! Oh. Welland, Ontario. Martin. Martin Brothers. Brothers, Welland, Ontario. I found pieces of that. That's beauty. Oh, you get that here. water out, man. Don't drink it. Oh, it's got a crack. Oh, no. Oh, that's probably why there was all water in it. I don't know. Keep that in. There's another one over there, too, I think. Yeah, biggie. Oh yeah, it goes all the way wow. along the back. Look promising, eh? <laughs> uh, if you can get that home in one piece, I'd keep it. Because I haven't found one It'll hole yet. All the way through. Yeah, I know. All the way around. That's a bummer, man. Oh, wow. That's a big milk bottle. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh well. Hey, still worth it. Okay, I'm gonna do a little wrap up here. Uh, so I got that Wilson's. Bottling works from Thorold. I'm gonna make a glass out of that because the top's busted off. Uh, I got this cool. Uh, I'm assuming it's a food jar. It's it's a light aqua, but it's got these nice little lines down the side, and it's a tool top. It's got the nice blue crown jar, and I actually found a blue lid to go with it. So that's a bonus. Got this little. I don't know, brown chemical bottle blown, so I'll keep that. And I got the Hires Household Extract. I got the Bovril. Gary found this pipe bowl. I collect those, so I'll bring that home. So that's a bonus. I don't know if there's fancy on it or not. It looks kind of plain, but I'll keep it. Then we'll go over to Gary's. I don't know. Almost looks like somebody dropped a bomb in his hole. Gary's got a few bottles. He's got a Vaseline. He's got that green, probably wine bottle. It's got the the uplift in there. He's got this brown chemical bottle right there. Castoria and he's got that nice milk bottle it's a shame it's busted but I think he's bringing it home I think it's Martin Brothers from Welland Ontario and he's got that little flask hiding down in there yeah he did pretty good a couple lids there I don't know what he's doing 
caving it in. All right, we'll see you on the next.